Hello everybody, Mr. Woods again. Today I'm going to show you how to make a little animated GIF using fireworks. Okay, animated GIFs are a fun introduction to making bigger animations, which you might do in uh, Adobe Flash, for example. Okay, look at the screen. First thing you might notice, on the right-hand side I've got all these panels. Normally I have it in iconic mode, like that, but because I'm going to use some of these panels quite a lot, I'm going to go to expanded mode so we can just see what's in there. Okay, so here we go. Next thing, uh, I want my animated GIF to be transparent, so I just have a transparent background. So this canvas, which is white, I'm just going to switch the color off, and you can see the checkerboards, that means transparent. Next thing, let's draw a little character. So over here I've got ellipses, and I'm going to choose blue, black stroke with three, and I'm going to draw myself an ellipse, a bit like that. Now, just like the pen tool, this is a path, that means I can get my subselection tool and start pulling it about, and making it what I want. That's a cute little shape. Um, now I'm going to put some eyes on, so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do one and then copy it. Uh, so we need a white circle, whoopsie, I always do that. Deselect, now I can change the colour of my pen tool, oh, sorry, my ellipse tool. And I want this eye to be round, so I'm going to hold down Shift. Okay, and now I'm going to put in, so deselect again before I forget. Select it again, black circle. That's about right. Now, if I select both bits, so hold down Shift, I've got both bits of eye, Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and look. I've got two eyes, and if you make them overlap, they look quite cute. All right, let's make a curvy mouth, just a smiley mouth. So I'm going to grab my pen tool and turn off the fill and go click, click, drag. And to stop, to end my line, just double click on the anchor point. There we go. So there's my little character. Isn't he cute? Now what I've got to do is get him moving across the screen. And all I'm going to do is make him move across like this. So I want to make him one shape. So I'm going to go right click. I've selected everything. Look, select everything. Right click, group, or Control G. Keyboard shortcuts are good. So here's a little group now. And now I need to make pages. And just like in a flick book, uh, you might, um, you know, when you run the pages together, when you make a flick book, You've got lots of little images on our different pages and they move ever so slightly. That's the same principle for an animated GIF, except we're not going to use bits of paper, we're going to use things called states. Now we need to go over to the right hand side here. See this bit here, we've got pages, we've also got states. And currently we have state 1. Well, What I want to do is copy state 1, duplicate it, and then change it. Okay, so state 1, right click, duplicate state, after current state, OK. Now I'm on state 2. It looks the same as state 1 until I move him a bit. Only a little bit, but look. State 1, state 2, state 1, state 2. You see? And I've even got a play button down here now. All right, so he's jiggling backwards and forwards because I've got two states. All right, state 2 is there. Let's right click, duplicate, OK, move him a bit. Right click, duplicate, OK, move him a bit. Right click, Duplicate, OK, move them a bit. And you can go on like this for ages. Um, I've done five. That will do just as an, ex as an example, OK? So those are all my states done. Now I want to select the part of this where I, that I want to export as an animated GIF. So to do that, I need to see all the states together. So I'm going to click this thing here, a little onion. It's called onion skinning. This should show me all my states in one go. So if I select show all states, there you go. Now you can see where I've been and where I've come from, where I'm going to. So you can see the area of this screen that I need to actually export. Now, to make um, fireworks only export the bit of the screen I want, we use this web tool here called the slice tool. And all we do is draw a box around the bit we want. OK? Now, I need to export this as an animated GIF. So I go over to Optimize, and I go to Export Defaults, Animated GIF Web Snap, and just check so that everything's saying Animated GIF. That all looks good. No transparency. No, I want Alpha 
transparency because it will make sure that the background is transparent. Just going to check, I've got this line here because you can change how many of these you want to um, export. So I'm going to export all of them. Got my my slice. That's gone away. I'm going to put that back in. Okay, I'm now ready to export this. So right click, export slice. Uh, it's in my folder here. So I've got um, blue um, animation. That will do. And save. <gasps> did you feel it? Did you hear it go? No, but it did. So if I go to my fireworks folder, you can see one I did earlier, but here's blue animation. And if I just drag that, into Google, there you go. So that's in Google Chrome, that's my animated GIF running in a web browser. That's really it. Um, so hopefully you found that okay. There's a lot there, but because this is a video, you can rewind me and replay me as many times as you like, I don't mind, it's all for free. Uh, so hopefully this has been useful and you can make some really cool animated GIFs. Thanks for watching. See you later. Like, subscribe and all that stuff. That's what you got to say, isn't it? I'm down with the kids. Oh, yeah.